today, Satan. Not today, Nick. Not today, ankles. We don't have it. Questions. Where's my cocktail? Where? That's my opinion. All right. You ruined it. You ruined it. You did. Uh, what the f is this? The lies. There you the go. Lies. There you go. <laughs> you are the biggest bully in Hollywood, and everyone knows it. Before we start, it is time to give a shout out to our partners of this video and are the beautiful people of Jibu Beauty. They have an amazing skincare collection that will make your skin and your soul look amazing. Their personal mission in life is to make your skin glow. From the Super Duo to the Multitasking Tint Moisturizer to even their new Enchanted Bloom collection, everything that they offer is just perfection. So if you want to get your products, make sure to go to the link on the description below and do not forget to use my discount code ANDY15 and you will get between 15 and 20% off. So get your products right now. Jibu Beauty, inspired by dreams, made for reality. Hello, Beret Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Beret Hills, and welcome to another piece of tea of uh, the day. I'm very happy today. I don't know why there is literally no reason, but I'm just excited. You know, it's Saturday. It's a beautiful day. Life is full of joy and happiness, you know, and just let's bring that positivity into the world because the world is a mess right now okay so um i hope every single one of you is having an amazing day wherever you are i hope that you are safe and happy and, and, and i don't know full of joy or something and if you're not well bitch i'm here okay i'm here to make you feel a little bit better during the next eight to ten minutes okay so guys Vanderpump rules. Um, I was waiting for some things, you know, but now I was just gonna, I'm just gonna do the video of everything that we know so far about the reunion because you guys have been screaming, asking for more. Like you guys wanna watch the reunion right now and we are not even in the half season of everything, you know, like half of the show. So like, <clears throat> I know, I know it's very, like we, we want to have everything here now, but we you have to trust the process okay you have to come with us on this journey there is still a lot a lot of vanderpump rules still on the way i will think that we are gonna get this reunion honestly probably in may or even the beginning of june okay so like Sit down, take a deep breath, and keep enjoying the show, you know? I mean, every single thing that can happen outside of the show, I'm going to be here, keep you, like, updated. But, like, it is what it is, okay? So, for now, just let's live with these little pieces that we have here and there. The reunion, well, according to Andy Cohen, the reunion was long, was dramatic, was explosive. A lot of people... Uh, said that it was very draining you know lala ken uh came to social media after the reunion and said that this was one of the most draining moments that she has ever lived that that reunion was very insane um and then the coin says something different you know that it was very dramatic it was very long they start filming around 11 a.m and it went all of the way till like 10 p.m you know or 9 p.m or something like that but like it went all day long you know so you know that they that they went through everything they have sheena shea they have raquel levis in there um you already know that raquel served papers to sheena shea that are the most dumb papers ever okay um i did a, a whole video about why she was served so go and watch it after you finish this video because girl you are not gonna believe the things that raquel did to sheena but anyways uh so that also happened in the reunion um charlie was not part of the reunion which triggered a lot of people on social media she was not invited at all um i get that she was very much kind of like a friend of the show this season and i think because so many things happened, uh, they didn't saw, like, you know, a reason to have her there. But to be very honest, I think she should have been there because she's the kind of person who is able to just 
drop bombs, you know, and say what it needs to be said. And she doesn't really care about what people think. So I think they should have had Charlie there, but she was not part of the reunion. Um, apparently, Sandoval did went hard at Ariana, and she and he had the nerve, you know, the audacity to go and defend his actions and defend Raquel to Ariana and all of the people there. And he just kept justifying and justifying, uh, putting like the narrative that, you know, that they were not happy, that they never had sex, <clears throat> that he tried and tried, basically blaming Ariana for everything. He literally blamed Ariana for everything during the reunion. Yep, that that happened okay which to be very honest with you guys i am not surprised i mean what else are we going to be expecting from Tam sandoval and raquel rachel at this point you know i mean i i, I can already imagine them with their dumb faces being like mm, well we were in love you know and you were such a bad girlfriend for nine years so i have to fuck someone else disgusting disgusting anyways um let me see what else do we know okay so after they uh, finished filming um lala went home she was very tired uh i know that um ariana sheena katie and kristen they went to like um a little bar after to like celebrate and they said we won so like like uh, I think they they proved their point, you know, and I think Ariana is basically not going to let this take her down, which to be very honest, I think is the best thing to do. Like she needs to realize that she is so much better than than these people, you know, and, and not let this happen. Um, they talk about everything. They went on the whole, you know, um, Schwartz Raquel situation. They uh, Katie apparently was very emotional about the whole thing. Uh, Katie and and Sheena got into it. Well, all of that happened at the reunion. I mean, I think that's expected. I know that a lot of you guys were thinking that we're just gonna talk about Scandal, but you know, there a lot of things happened during this season that it needed to be mentioned. I don't know. It's going to be so weird to to you know look into the funny moments or whatever with with so much like i even want to say hate you know i think i think honestly I, I do think that ariana right now is in a hate phase he she hates tom sandoval and and and, and raquel which she's entitled to you know and, and look at the funny moments and trying to laugh and everything but they still have to go through the whole reunion you know through the whole show it's not only about scandal it's not only about the beginning it's not about vegas no it's about everything you know so i don't know it's going to be a, a very hard reunion for ariana but i'm happy that that she went through it you know and now i think this is the closure that she needed and now she can like start really moving on with her life because now they're gonna I'm guessing takes a break. I don't know how long to be very honest because usually they start filming uh, at the end of May on June. So, well, that still will give her a good two months, you know, to just like be away, you know, and just relax. And, um, you know, she's starring in a new movie in Lifetime and everything. So I think she's going to enjoy that process as well. So anyways, that's everything we know so far of what went down at the reunion. I will keep you informed as long as as soon as I know more. And um, if you want to get all the tea related to Vanderpump Rules or any of the other Bravo shows, make sure to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. And I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.